What's going on everybody, TG here, back with another video, and we are gonna be talking about my favorite PLTR, which just reported earnings today, but the stock actually got rocked a little bit, down about 9%. We went ahead and got six put credit spreads on it. We got orders to buy about five more of these. So we'll have about over 20 contracts uh, if it does go to around 28.75, which could happen in the next couple of minutes. So we'll keep you updated on that. But let's go over their earnings and why the stock is actually dropping. So first off, their shares fell after reporting a loss in quarter four. All right, people were expecting you know potential profitability. It wasn't 100%, but people were expecting it. And that's why the stock obviously rallied a decent amount. If we look at it in the past month, it rallied hard. I mean, it was sitting around 26 for a while and it, bam, shot up to about $44 a share um, and then kind of leveled down. was staying in the mid to high 30s, uh, but then obviously had a little bit of a drop off. But, you know, let's really break down the earnings and talk about them because they're actually pretty good numbers. We're talking about revenue of $322 million, uh, versus expectations of $300 million. So a $22 million beat, but unfortunately, <clears throat> the company lost $0.08 cents per share. And, you know, people were expecting some profitability. But here's one of the good takeaways from this. They added a lot more clients. And not only more clients, but average revenue per client over 2020 um, per customer from the year came at $7.9 million on average per customer. That's huge. That's up 41% from 2019. And its top 20 customers generated $33.2 million each in 2020. Again, up 34% year over year. Now this is huge because they're getting more contracts, they're getting more clients, they're getting more trusted, and they're getting more revenue per client. Okay, so they're going to continue to scale and get bigger and bigger. And I like them. I really like this company. They're they're doing things differently. You know, they have huge defense contracts with our government, with ICE, with other foreign entities, and they're well proven. And they've proven themselves time and time again that they belong there. They belong to have these contracts. And I think it's going to be pretty good for them. The only one thing I'm worried about is under a Biden administration, you know, he's very pro big tech. And, you know, the CEO has said multiple times, Alex Karp has said, you know, he's against that. He's against, you know, big tech and mining data and collecting it and all that. And, you know, he wants to do things differently. He actually moved his headquarters out of Denver or out of Palo Alto to Denver. Okay. So, you know, they're willing to work with these government agencies under the Trump era, and they've gotten some big clients like ICE, um, but they don't like they don't like the big tech. They don't like that entity, and they think it's different, and they don't like it, okay? And, you know, some people are a little bit worried about that, but I honestly think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing that they're doing things differently, and they're going to get a lot of loyal fans, okay? And those clients are going to stay with them because their technology is solid. You know, Gotham technology that they have is absolutely solid, and you know, when we look at this company and where it's at, I think in the next couple of years, this company is going to continue to grow and grow and grow. I mean, we're currently sitting at their exact market cap. Let's see what's at right now. It's about uh, 50 billion. Okay. So still pretty high, but I mean, they're bringing in 330 this quarter. They're growing at a big rate. That's over a billion a year. You know, it, it can be justified, especially when they add on more clients as well and get that revenue up. Uh, so. You know, profitability will probably come next quarter. If I had to bet on anything, I'd bet it would come next quarter. Um, but I mean, like I said, this is a small position. We have about 1,300 in it, nothing big. I wanted about 2,500 in it, um, but my order did not get filled. We only got a couple filled at that price. So, you know, we obviously have a bunch of put credit spreads in it, but I'd obviously like a lot more. The account's not doing too hot compared to how it was earlier when Amazon was flying, but, you know, that's okay. I'm glad we got an opportunity to pick up some pounds here because like I said, these earnings are really good. And you know, people just see the fact that they lost eight cents per share, but they're not seeing the new clients. They're not seeing the new contracts. You're not seeing revenue increasing at a very, very high rate. Okay. So when you see that, you see the stock already fell pretty hard from its highs and then you see it drop even more after pretty solid numbers. All right. That's when I go ahead and buy the dip. Um, so I do recommend people buying the dip on this. You know, any, I even said, I said a couple of days ago, anything under 30 is free money long-term, okay? It's free money long-term. I said the same thing about Amazon. Amazon under 3,200 or even under 3,300 is free money long-term. So keep a close watch on this stock and look at some of the new contracts they're getting because these new contracts are huge, all right? And 
they're slowly becoming the biggest in the game when it comes to you know this defense and artificial intelligence like all these high tech data analytics and data mining that they do they're becoming the top of the top okay and so when you have more big clients you know clients like the CIA ICE the US government other foreign governments you know putting their trust into a private company like this that shows good credibility and that means other businesses and other clients are going to be willing to work with someone that is trusted by the biggest and best. You know, the CIA is probably the most secured entity on this planet, and they trust Palantir with their um, their data. So, you know, other companies that are looking, hey, who can I really trust with this? Who's good? They're going to see, okay, this freaking CIA trusts this company with it. Let's go ahead and put our trust into it. Let's go ahead and give them some money. So that's exactly what's happening here. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with Palantir. I'm looking to see this company, you know, really strum bone itself back to where it belongs because it definitely belongs up there. Uh, but like I said, we're just going to be watching Amazon mainly right now. Um, if what's it called, Palantir does dip a little bit more. Like I said, we're picking up more Palantir. But in the meantime, we got our positions. We're locked and loaded and we're ready to go. So that's about it for today, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.